one of the weirdest, strangest, and possibly the most offensive movie series you'll ever see. And it comes from the land of the rising sun. An interesting blend of pop culture, political and societal references wrapped up in a Z-grade schlock blanket from the director of quite a lot of these types of movies. Hi, I'm the Artie Dans and I welcome you to the first video in a series of videos where I'll take a look at the five Lust of the Dead movies. The men of Japan are turning into zombies, but not the flesh-eating type. These zombies are after one thing, sex, and they will forcibly get it from any woman in their vicinity. Labelled as toxic man syndrome and seemingly created by negative environmental issues, a quadruplet of women seek refuge in a Shinto shrine out of the city. Within the group is Nurse Nozomi, housewife Kane, office lady Momoko, and schoolgirl Tamei, each with a story to tell about their escape from the toxic men. Hold up in the shrine, they watch news broadcasts of a nuclear rocket destroying Tokyo, with hopes that it's destroyed all the zombie men with it. But their adventure is just getting started. Just because this is a low budget movie, doesn't mean it has nothing to say about society. Believe it or not, there are a lot of themes that are explored in this film, from evolution to climate change, feminism to the sexualization of women, religion and the divine conception, and of course, the potential for nuclear war with North Korea. I know it doesn't seem like that type of movie, but all of those themes are explored and discussed in this movie. You probably already know that the full title of this movie is something I should avoid trying to say on YouTube, so discussing that element of the movie is going to be tricky. So I'm going to borrow a phrase from another YouTuber I watch and refer to it as forced snuggling. There are many forced snuggling scenes in this film which are supposed to be played up for humorous purposes, although when the movie opens up with a scene of domestic violence, I'm not sure they're all supposed to be viewed in that way. The movie makes it clear that men seem to have no control over their instincts, but then muddles the message with the lesbian nurse character Nozomi, who can think of nothing but to explore the body of office lady Momoko. All of our four lead actresses are also AV stars, so you know straight away there's going to be an abundance of skin in this movie. And thanks to Japan's strange regulations on nudity, there are a lot of breasts on display in this film. But sometimes they're covered in zombie blood, so maybe keep it in your pants. Speaking of pants, some of the visual effects, no, sorry, all of the visual effects in this film are hilariously cheap looking, and it adds to the overall vibe of the film. The HD quality certainly shows up all the digital effects for what they are. And regardless of if it's a blood splatter, the zombie virus taking over a body, or the nuclear wasted city streets, everything has that cheap, quickly made for video charm that you'd expect from these Japanese schlock movies. Clearly all the budget went to the boobs, and you can't really complain about that when you consider one of the lead actresses is none other than Asami, who also doubles as the movie's action coordinator just like she did with the director's previous movie, Erotibot, which I've looked at before. But this is a series, and while the movie doesn't end on a cliffhanger like you'd expect for something that has four preceding films, it's not a bad start to the series. But can they continue with the snappy yet contemporary look at modern pop culture and the political and societal environment in the following films? Well, this one had an otaku who is in the next film, so I guess it does. We're off to a strong start with part one. We've seen Tokyo get destroyed, but only two of the four girls remain alive, even though they all return for the sequel. Check out next week's video where I'll explore part two. If you've seen it, what did you think? Thank you for watching this review. Please don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing to support the channel. 